of us through every blessing and curse Till I breathe my every breath for better or for worse Even if it means my own death We like to go downtown on the square and just we perform, but really it's just like a practice for us, you know. But a lot of people, like, they like that. They'll, like, clap when we're done and stuff, which is cool, because we're just having, like, band practice, and people are like, yay, that was good. <laughs> so that's fun. It's fun. I'm a performer. I mean, that's definitely true. Like, whether it's, you know, running my open mic or being in my band or being um, on stage at Soft Tales, like, I'm a performer. It's what I love the most. It's where I feel more, most comfortable. I can be having anxiety attack and then I get on stage with an instrument and I'm fine, <laughs> completely okay. Recently, within the past few months, I've started working at Frisco Tap Room, and uh, it's a lot of fun. They've like the first thing that I started doing was an open mic, and when that started getting a pretty good turnout, they told me that I could start booking bands. And so our first thing that we did was Drunk Punk Mondays, and um, <clears throat> that's going really well. We're getting a pretty good crowd out to it, and. Uh, have a lot of different types of music. Last week we opened up with a jazz band and they were so good. They blew everybody away, it was amazing. And um, it's really cool because I, uh, throughout the past few years, I've made a lot of friends in Springfield that are musicians and have bands started and stuff. And so um, I get to come and I get to invite my friends to come and play, which is really cool. Um, my name is Matt Stock. I, uh... I work in uh, green energy. I've been doing that since about 2008. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to know about me. Uh, I uh, I like well, I guess I, more about me. I uh, you know I like to get out a lot. I'm a very social person. I like to go to concerts, and I'm a musician. Uh, I like to consider myself an artist. I but struggling, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's kind of how I met Juniper, but uh, we uh, had a lot of the same interests, we went to the same shows, we went to, uh, you know, same kind of uh, community events and whatnot, and uh, we just started, we just became really good friends, and it was always a big connection between her and I. I'm not really sure what I want to go into. It's going to be somewhere in the realm of like uh, music production or media production or um, maybe just like music theory, something like that. Because um, if it's not for me making music myself, I'd like to be able to help other people make music videos or record music. But I'm really not sure exactly what I want to do. I love OTC though. It's a really good school. It's the community college in town and I like it um, because it's, the classes are all really small. and. It's a technical college, so they have pretty much everything that I would want to go into for the field that I'm interested in. Uh, the thing, how she would describe, uh, how she would uh, describe her addiction was uh, heroin was the only thing that made her feel normal. I mean, she didn't feel normal unless she was high, and it's like you know, once you get that that feeling, that uh, that high, that you know that dopamine effect you know it, it it's it's hard to go back it's hard to you know just be sober you know normal and be happy because it, it has that much of an effect on you i grew up with a single mother and it was me and my little brother and i was basically like the housemaid and babysitter you know I took care of the house and everything and we were we, we didn't ever go hungry or anything like that but um, I definitely learned how to deal with not having everything that I wanted but on the other side of that I've never been cold or hungry a day in my life I mean, she, she made handmade jewelry she customized clothes she, she played guitar she played bass uh, I mean she was uh, fluent in uh, ASL in a sign language you know, she was all over the place. She, she wrote for a uh, local zine, uh, The Thread. You know, anybody that knew her, uh, you know, it, it was just a fire about her, you know. She she didn't light up a room, she set it on fire, you know, when she walked in. And, you know, she wanted to be better. She wanted to be a good mom, and, you know, she was. But, uh, tell with all the different projects that I have going on that um, I'm 
a motivated person with direction or whatever. And I don't know, it's just really strange for me to try and like look at myself in this different light as a person that like gets stuff done. And I'm so grateful for my community. I know that I couldn't do anything without every single person that's, that either plays, or helps me hang up posters, talks about my events, shows up to them. Like I know that I couldn't do anything without them. So like that's, that's really important to me. I really want to make an effort to um, like through talking to people around town and stuff, make it clear that I don't think that I'm hot shit. I know that I'm just a kid who's lucky to be in a cool community with a lot of musicians and a lot of supportive people. But, uh, anyway, uh, about two months uh, after my son was born, our son, uh, I went out for a little bit and uh, I came back and my son was crying in, uh, in his bassinet, like crying hard. And uh, I noticed the light was on in the bathroom from underneath the door. And then I noticed I didn't hear anything in the bathroom. So I knocked on the door, I didn't get a response, I opened the door and there she was just lying there, like lifeless with a needle on the floor next to her. I, I'm eternally grateful for everything that I'm gifted in this town, all the people that I'm around, and all the support that I have. I don't know. I just hope people don't get this bad idea of me.